guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to download full free programs. Okay, so what you need to do first is open the internet and go to www.wares-bb.org. This is just one of the Leech sites, but it's one that I use all the time and it's really good, so I recommend it. So go to that. And this will come up. First of all, what you need to do is go to search, which is up here in the toolbar. And it should take you to the search page. Um, I think you actually need to have an account first, which is free. Um, so if it asks you to sign up or log in, uh, log in first, and then you should go to search. So, um, all right, here we go. This is the latest program that I've downloaded, so I'll just go to it to show you how to do it. Type it again. There we go. And um, I've actually downloaded this one right here, which is the first result. Um, the first result isn't always the best one, um, but that's just the one that I went to because it has a lot of views and a lot of replies, which are comments on it by other users, um, like this one for instance that I've downloaded, or this one, or this one, or even these ones with just over 1,000, 2,000 or 4,000. They don't necessarily need to be in the 40,000s. Okay, so um, here we go. Um, click on the one that you want to go to. Um, and it opens up the page that the user has uploaded and customized it to. This user is Andre underscore kit and they've modified the page to their own liking with information about it and what the version is, this is CS3, I don't know why it came up for CS4. Um, so this is CS4 down here, here we go. Um, so yeah, first off what you need to do is make sure it's the one that you want to do and then you look for the code, the download code. It should say download wherever the user has put it. And then what you need to do is highlight that, copy it, go to a new tab, paste it into the search bar, and go to it. Sometimes um, people remove the files, um, like the runners of the website, uh, because they're illegal. Um, which means the link has been broken. So if it says the file does not exist, you're just going to have to go back and search for a different one. Okay, so this is RapidShare, one of the file hosting sites associated with WESBB. To download this one, you need to go to Free User. It's most, it's mostly the same on all file hosting sites. You want to go to Free User, unless you have a login for a premium account, which allows you to download more files at a time. Um, you have to wait a certain amount of time um, on a free user account, which isn't usually much, but these are the premium accounts that you can get down here. And while that goes, I'll just show you some stuff here. Um, the user has just really customized the page to their own liking with lots of information about the program. They've got some screenshots to show you that it works. Um, some more information here. And then they even have CS4 available as well. There's a code for that there. That's a lot better than CS3. I recommend getting that if you're looking for Photoshop. See, it's got lots of information about it here. Sometimes a file will have a password. Once you've downloaded and extracted it, it will ask for a password. And this one, in this case, doesn't have a password, but it will be listed in an area like this if it has a password. And a lot of them will have, don't forget to say thanks. A lot of people say thank you. This is what you need to check to make sure it's a good, trustworthy program with no viruses. They say thank you, thanks, thanks, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, thanks, all this kind of stuff. And so on. Just go right down the bottom. And there's even up to 73 pages of comments. 
So yeah, you can check all those out and make sure it's a trustworthy program if you're really paranoid about it, but I'm pretty sure looking at the first page will be fine. So um, I'm not going to bother downloading it because I already have. Um, so we'll just close that and minimize that. And that's my conversation with MSN. This is what I've downloaded here. Um, all you need to do is open the file and extract it. And if some of them are, can be really confusing, um, but most of the time they're really simple. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys. And have fun. Be careful. Ha! <laughs> it's not over. Um, I've just noticed that I missed something that you guys might want to know. Um, I found this one. It's called Adobe Photoshop Series 4 Extended Full and three links. Not everybody lists, lists this in the name of the program, but um, obviously that means it has three links. And a lot of the programs on here are going to have more than one part. Part one, part two, part three. Um, so what you need to do in this case is copy the first link and paste it into your address bar and download part one and then download part two and then part three and how many other parts it has and then you need to put them into the same folder and extract them when you extract yeah if they're in sorry if they're in the same folder when you extract them you only need to start the extraction for one part one and it'll just automatically do the rest and then it should turn it into one file for you so yeah hope that helps okay now I'm going to say bye bye <laughs>